Well, he said, if I don't slap this thing, I'm a punk. Cause you know, she already create, created the scenario and the, the condition for him to think that he was a bitch ass nigga. Uh, the, the white supremacists did a good job in separating the black family and creating this dichotomy in our household. And that's why we have all the issues that we have. And that's why Will Smith, you know what I'm saying, me reacted the way he acted. He, he reacted emotional. What would be the right way to have handled that? Well, first that? time, I tell my son all the time, all my kids, I said, think 15 seconds before you act. Because if he'd have thought, you know what I'm saying? First thing he said, I'm gonna lose all my endorsements. I'm gonna lose all my uh, possible, you know, movies coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna lose all my fans. That's all he need was 15 seconds. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me. How many times you done been in a relationship with a woman? She get mad. She busts all the car windows, cut right. the tires. That's emotional. And then she 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 shake her head later and said, "Baby, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking." You know, that's a woman have that 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 right to do that. Because God gave her emotion. God gave a woman the right. same thing he gave a skull. Well, see, that could have been. Huh? Well, you said something earlier, because I want to like deconstruct that particular incident or okay. break down the incident. You said women going to test you, right? Uh, you yeah. said women going to test you. Yeah. I do feel like in that moment, Jada was testing Will. She tested him when she got on there and she slept with the boy, the little kid, you know, that was in the family. Oh, that's real wild. Yeah, she, she slept when she got on national TV and talked about him like a dog. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she, was, she, she, she made him like a punk a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, he had to feel that if Can I don't slap this... Can he ever recover from that? Well, he said, if I don't slap this nigga, I'm a punk. Because, you know, she already create, created the scenario and the, the condition for him to think that he was a bitch-ass nigga. You know what I mean? Ain't no woman going to talk to me like that. I'm going to leave. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm not going to be in a relationship where I'm not respected, period. I don't want to deal with you. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, he allowed himself to be put in that category that go back to Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? It's been going on since Adam and Eve. You know, it's called the fall of man. You know, he said, the woman that you gave me have deceived me. This is how the Bible start off. Women are very deceptive. Women are very manipulative. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and they're very sharp. They're very intelligent. They're way smarter than men. Men don't want to accept that. I God gave that. a woman the same thing he gave a, a skunk, a white stripe and a belly full of foam. And what that means is that just that she can't duke it out, but right. she can think it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's going to all think you every time if you're not a mastermind. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a mastermind so, and you don't know how to think, you're going to get played. In that scenario, why do you think Jada would do that to to him, was it something because there? because because it's it's the f survival of the fittest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, every woman want to break her man down. The first thing you, how many times did your woman ask you, where you going? Where you been? Let me see your phone. That's called a breakdown. She can't hit you in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? A man can be like, where the f you been? Why you ain't come home? Mm -hmm. She going you gonna scare the shit out of she. Gonna, but she gonna use this. You gonna use this. And after a while, guess what? You got a six eight nigga. You know what I'm saying? Big old black ugly motherfucker. Like he beat up everybody in the club. Man, I can't go, man. I caught man, my woman tripping. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many times right. you heard niggas say that? Niggas like, nigga, what you mean? You ain't the man in the house? Man, shoot, man. I don't know, man. My woman, man, she don't play. And this woman is probably 5'2, 130 pounds. But her mind is so powerful. You know, that's why you go in prison. You see little skinny niggas, right? That shot mentally running big niggas in prison. Got these niggas killing everybody. Hey, hit that nigga right there. Italians. Old white men, hey, kill all these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Because they got mental power. And women instinctively have that, you know? So if you don't know that, right, and you don't know your responsibility as a man, you don't know that the challenge is to be a man at all times and stand on your all tens, then you're going to get melted down. So in that scenario, kind of to close out, my response would have been to acknowledge that if I felt that he was disrespecting my wife, I would have went backstage and then approached him like, hey, we going to cool it so he can feel my no energy. Man. And then she would feel protected and know like, okay. Y'all, what is this, comedy hype? Look at this comedy hype. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's just, it's just comedy. You know what I'm saying? It's the man's a, uh, uh, you know, I mean, people do jokes so you about would So you would have checked her on the situation? I like, wouldn't even deal with the situation. You know, like, I'll give you an example. You know, cause I want to talk about my organization, Hip Hop Fraternity, yes, before sir. we close out, right? Like in my organization, Hip Hop Fraternity, I got 4,500 members. I got 35 CEOs, 35 chapters. I got over 100 executives, right? You know, people, I'm dealing with people. I elected to be in this situation. People do crazy stuff. They talk about me all the time. I ain't never right. I'm always doing something wrong. I'm always, you know, it's just all this drama day in, day out. And my son will tell you, you know what I do? I block that shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't let nobody live in my head rent free. 
know what I'm saying? You can't live in here rent free. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna drink the poison and say, you gonna die. That's just like drinking some poison and say, I don't like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm drinking this poison. He's gonna die. No, I'm gonna die. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna forgive you instantly. You know why? Because forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself and not to others. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's you got to be sharp enough to do that instinctively to the point where, you know, because life ain't about what you get into. Life is about what you don't allow yourself to get into. How many people say, man, I, I, I'm going to jail for life, you know what I'm saying, because I snap? How many people, you know, mm-hmm. you know, the homie come over and say, man, I got a key of dope, man, I need you to move this for me. And you know that you got a good job. You know you got a family kid. You take that key, you flip that key, now you're in jail. You know what I'm saying? I mean, life ain't what you get into, it's what you don't allow yourself to get into. Because if you would have never tucked the key, and my mom used to always say, the devil made me do it. The devil did, the devil, the devil did not make you go in there and lay down with that woman. You know what I'm saying? The devil did not make you go and buy that ounce of dope. You know what I'm saying? Quit lying on the devil. You did it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to control yourself, your mind. And that's how I've been out of jail for 33 years, because I control myself. Hey man, you got a pistol? Yeah, I, got, I, I can't ride with you, homie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm ex-fire. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? You got dope in the car? I, I want to ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they, they, they acting crazy over there? I'm not going over there. You know, so you got to put, you got to put yourself on probation. And you got to monitor yourself. And that's what he should have did. He should have had his thinking sharp enough. He's a multimillionaire, but he should knew that, man, you know what I'm saying? Me, uh, millions of people looking at me. I'm a cash earner. I'm a money man. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep making my money. I can't let this nigga play me. Chris Chris Rock play me out of pocket with all these corny ass jokes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I would have said. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then I would have went home and, you know, I, you know, they rich. They could have went to a nice restaurant, chill, or got a hotel, got a suite, and, and went to Vegas by stuff, 10000 which he would have never felt it. And, and, and that shit would have... Now he's apologizing. He just was on uh, uh, news yesterday. Apologize. It's crazy that you mentioned. Just, you know, just a bunch of shit. Do not just don't, don't don't get yourself caught up, man. That's yeah. the only thing I can tell you. <laughs>